Hello everybody, now today's topic or experiment is how to lower your graphics card temperature and power consumption without losing any performance. Well, maybe a little bit less performance, but drastically lower temps and certainly a much lower GPU power draw. Please note that this method I accidentally discovered by fooling around with some settings only works with Nvidia graphics cards. In fact, I'm not even sure which GPU generations are supported. What I know for certain is that the GTX 700, 900 and 1000 series are supported. I've tested it. And anyone can do this. We just need certain software. So let's get started. I'll be showing you how to do it with my NVIDIA GTX 1070. Of course my 1070 Pascal GP already is a very power efficient card and doesn't really run that hot. But it's all about the principle behind it. First I'd advise you to download a special GPU overclocking tool. Several manufacturers offer such but my favorite one for now is the EVGA Precision XOC tool. And no, you don't actually have to own an EVGA card to use it. Now once it's installed, all you have to focus on is the power and temp target. Right now these two options are linked so I only focus on the power target. On default at stock it should be at 100%. Alright, now turn off your PC, plug in a watt meter to measure the power consumption, turn the PC back on and fire up a demanding PC game. I'm going for Far Cry Primal, settings at the 1440p resolution, graphics quality high. And then either play the game and monitor the framerate with tools like Fraps or use built-in benchmarks. Currently my system draws about 288 watts from the wall. The benchmark results are 73 FPS minimum, 81 on average. Write your results down so you don't forget it. Now that's the frame rate and power draw. For the temperature I'm running the Fermac GPU stress testing tool for a couple minutes until the GPU temp stops climbing. As you can see 66 degrees celsius is what I'm getting here. 291 watts power consumption. But now let's get to the cool part, I actually lower all these numbers except the frame rate. Fire up your GPU overclocking tool and lower the power target, yes, lower it. In my case the temp target goes down accordingly too. In this part every graphics card is different, you need to play around with it a little. I'd say start at about 60-65% to power target, run the same benchmarking scene again like before and check if the frame rate got lower or remains the same. If it got 5 FPS lower or more, go back to the overclocking tool and increase the power target by roughly 5% and rerun the game. Repeat this procedure as often as you have to in order to get about the same frame rate as with 100% power target. If you end up with 2 or 3 FPS less, you decide if those are really that important to you or not. In my case I found my sweet spot that is 79% power target and 73 degrees temp target. The game still runs perfectly smooth with a great frame rate as you can see. And the end result shows only a little less FPS than what I used to have before. But that's almost nothing. As for the temperature, yes it did get lower, not by much, but 62 degrees instead of 66. And now to the power consumption. 257 watts in Far Cry Primal compared to 288 as seen previously. And in Fermac 250 watts compared to the previous 291 watts. So under undeniably a great difference there. But keep in mind the Nvidia Pascal GPU series, which this GTX 1070 is part of, is very efficient and not that power hungry. I did use the same methods for the MSI GTX 770 Lightning and Gigabyte GTX 780 Windforce and the results are stunning. Don't compare the results with each other though, I use different systems and different game settings. Just look at the changes proportionally and how much actually is achievable. The GTX 770 all on default ran with 40 FPS minimum, now 41. Before 50 FPS average, now also 50. Temperature before 80 degrees, now 69 degrees Celsius. Power consumption before 378 watts, now 283 watts. Then the GTX 780, 37 FPS minimum before, now 36. Average frame rate before 49, now 47. Temperature 70 degrees before, 62 degrees now. And last but not least, power draw. 470 watts before, now 340 watts. Incredible. So I guess you get my point. Now I assume not many will be interested in doing what I did here, but for those of you that really want the best power efficiency out of their system or graphics card, in this case this might be something to look into. But like or dislike the idea behind this, I hope you at least enjoyed this experiment. Feel free to let me know of more fun experiments to try out. Thanks a lot for watching and see you in the next one.